Okay. <laughs> Good morning, seniors! What up? Right, Good cool. morning! Woo. Thank you. <laughs> today we're going to be, this is the first time we're filming this class, so it's good. It's a milestone. Uh, today we're going to be doing credit card interest. Thank you, uh, Ecclesiastes, for this uh, beautiful drawing. You're welcome! Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a fun, it's a fun one. Yeah, it's really nice. And uh, we're going to be discussing something that's probably relevant to many people watching which is uh, how credit cards assess interest on people with debt, okay? So, uh, yay math! Yay math! Whoa, it's lo <laughs> louder than I expected, but that's good. <laughs> okay, so we're on the back of your sheet here, and uh, with the following situation. All right, this stuff's actually really interesting once you guys let it in, and really sad in a way, too. Yeah. Okay, so imagine it's... The end of May and June starts. June 1st, coming into the month, a person has $7,000 credit card interest. Naturally, it would be $7,000 and change, you know, but we're doing this uh, even number so we can understand it, okay? And so, assume that at the beginning of this month, the credit card bill is due. Let's say it's due on June 1st, and this person has a $7,000 debt. What happens if this person does not pay the seven thousand in full by the first? They yes. Don't, don't they like charge extra interest? Right. So now we're going to be starting to charge interest. So the credit card says, "All right, so you haven't paid us our full amount by the by the due date. So we are going to start assessing interest on you for the month of June." Okay. And just keep in mind, as a side note, many times they'll have what you owe and a minimum payment. We're gonna talk about minimum payment at the end of the day. And uh, that says, just pay us at least this minimum payment so we don't charge you a late fee. Late fees are usually around $40, $50. So uh, you don't necessarily need to pay the whole thing to avoid a late fee. Yes. Late, late fee would be on top of the interest? On top of the interest, yeah. So that's really how the credit cards dig into you. So at the very least, just as a message, if you can't pay the full amount, um, by the due date, at least pay something so you're not charged an extra late fee. Okay, so assuming there's no late fee, and assuming we have this bill, now indeed as the days start to progress, we are going to pay interest. All right, and here's how it works. We went through this scenario actually last Thursday while football was, was out. All right, I'm just going to reiterate the scenario. If we owe $7,000, Okay, and then let's say very soon, a few days after, maybe the 6th or the 5th of June, we pay almost all of it. Let's, pay, let's say we pay 6,000. So for the majority of the month, if we paid 6,000 early, we owe how much? 1,000, right? So the majority of the month, we owe something less. Versus another scenario in which we paid 6,000 at the end of the month, let's say June 28th or something. So for the majority of the month, we owed 7,000. That's right. And the credit card companies know this. They basically charge you per day how much you owe. All right? And that method, which is actually on your paper, is called the average daily balance daily balance balance. <laughs> average daily balance method. Wait, they... In other words, how much do you owe on average per day? Yes. So you're already, you're already owing 7000 Right. But what if I'm... Now we're going to start to do some action. Just split it up. Yeah. Okay. Some transaction. Yes. Does the average daily balance include interest or is it no. just how much... No. Very good question. No. The interest is at the conclusion of the month mm -hmm. and it decides... It, it, it assesses whether or not this person paid early, paid late, how much did they pay. So, so far going in, we owe 7000 So let's say on the 8th, okay? We made a payment of three thousand bucks. So now, how much do we owe? Four thousand. Four thousand. <clears throat> okay. And now here is the main question. This is the the beginning of the average daily balance calculation. For how many days did we owe? $7,000. Seven. For a week. Seven, you're right. You can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the seventh day. And on the eighth day, we made a payment. So we don't owe us 7000 anymore. So I'm going to write here, 
7,000 owed seven days. So for seven days, we owed $7,000. Yes? Um, why does it matter to the credit card company when you pay your money as long as you pay right by the end of the month? Okay, so officially in this scenario, the bill was due at the beginning of the month. So now we are, we are officially in debt, and we have to figure out a way, or, or the credit card has to figure out a way to charge us interest based on what we did throughout that month. Because now, as you see, now we owe 4000 so the credit card company is going to say, okay, so this person paid a little, so they're going to charge them more or less interest? Less. If they paid a little? Less. 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 Okay, what's the next transaction on your paper after the 8th? What happened? June 10th. June 10th. We paid 1000 So, charge of $1,000 oh. at electronics. Oh. So what, what do you think this person bought? Uh, laptop. Laptop. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah, good. Laptop. yeah. You guys are seniors going to college, that type of thing. You know that they uh, on the news it talked about getting a MacBook is like one of the top priorities for college students. It's interesting, especially after the Steve Jobs passed. You know. They Someone that told story. me that everything was seventy five percent off when Steve Jobs died, and I went to Mac store and they looked at me like that was an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't buy into the hype, you know. But I'm glad you at least tried, right? It's worth a try. Okay, so 610, uh, we made a charge for 1,000. So now how much do we officially owe after this charge? Five grand, very good. And what's my next question going to be regarding the 4,000 bucks? Interest? No. Wait, sorry, Similar to that? What's my next question going to be regarding four thousand dollars? How much? Do, how long did you owe it for? Right on. How many days did we owe four thousand bucks? Two. Considering two. Two. Nice. Two. That's right. Oh, right. On the eighth, we owed four thousand. On the ninth, we owed four thousand. And on the tenth, something changed. So now we owed four thousand for two days. Okay. Next transaction. What, what day was it on? 16th. 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 How much was it for? 400. 616. Also charged for 400 bucks. How much do we owe now? 5400. 5, What's my next question? How long do we owe 5000? Five thousand. How long do we owe it? Well, we could count it up if you're ever confused. Tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. Very good. Six days, because on the sixteenth that changed. So this was indeed six days. Any questions about why we're doing this? Okay. So so far, let me ask you. We're about halfway through the month. About. How much, on average, did we owe per day? Just getting a quick survey. What do you think? Forty-five hundred. That's a nice guess. Let's say about five. Maybe five because for long we owed five thousand for a really long time. We also owed seven thousand for a really long time, so it might even be more than five thousand. You know, because the seven thousand is a big average as well. For a week, we owed this. But let's keep going for the month. What happened on the next day? What was the date? 25th. 25th. Transaction for how much? 500 bucks. What was purchased? Business. Business, okay. <laughs> very, very vague. <laughs> Business. Um, all right, so after this transaction of 500, how much do we owe the credit card company? 59. Subsequently, how much? How many days did we owe? Fifty-four hundred. Nine. Nine days. Yeah. You guys are picking this up. 